For the past two decades, the Wild Dolphin Project, under the direction of Dr. Denise Herzing, has been engaged in a remarkable project. One of the many research initiatives underway is to crack the code of communication with another species. This amazing project is also, by its nature, on the front lines of the battle for the health of the planet. The Wild Dolphin Project is a research and scientific organization. We're a nonprofit that I formed in 1985 to support the long term work out in the Bahamas studying a resident group of wild spotted dolphins. Out here we have two species of dolphin. Uh, the primary one we study are Atlantic spotted dolphins, and the second species are bottlenose dolphins that are well known to a lot of us. And they, although they have independent lives, and they actually interact a certain amount of the time. We spend four to five months actually out in the wild to get enough information about the dolphins every year to track individuals and make sense of their society. This is obviously expensive work. We're on a large boat. We're in an offshore area. We don't actually work in a protected bay. So we actually live at sea for 10 days to two weeks at a time. This includes all the baseline work we do, which is life history, how their spots develop over time, who has calves, who's hanging out with who, who has babies the next season. Dolphins are highly complex species whose lives are difficult to document in the wild. Like anthropological studies of complex human societies, it is important to understand the individuals, families, and societal dynamics to understand the dolphin's culture. Dolphins actually have a very complex society, uh, much like humans do. And in fact, it's very striking how similar dolphin society is to human society. They have friendships, they have um, you know, mothers, they have children, they have grandmothers, they have aunts and uncles, uh, best friends, and sometimes they may have enemies or um, other dolphins that they don't like. We need to know more about our natural world. We need to feel like we are part of our natural world in order to preserve it and save it. And the dolphins are another intelligent species that exist on the planet. They indicate the health of the oceans, which are important for them, their ecosystem, and also for humans if we're going to survive the planet, which is in peril right now. In 2004 and 2005, devastating hurricanes dramatically impacted the study site, the dolphins, and the habitat. Because of the long-term commitment, the Wild Dolphin Project was able to quantify and qualify the losses, showing the importance in such long-term monitoring. This work reaps both short-term and long-term benefits. We must learn about the oceans to preserve them for not only the dolphins, but for humans and all species of the planet. Part of the investment of this study has been to gain the dolphins' trust. And for that reason, and many other reasons, all our work is non-invasive. We don't touch the animals, we don't feed them, we don't biopsy them with biopsy darts. We've always maintained a respectful relationship with them as much as possible. Having a trustful relationship with them and access to them under water is more important. Working out in the field is very difficult. Um, there are long days. We work from basically around sunrise, 7 o'clock in the morning, to 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, this involves doing lab work in, in, on the boat and also a lot of time in the water. It's a very physically draining job, it's a very mentally draining job, but it's actually really rewarding as well. Um, to be able to be allowed to watch these animals in their world, um, in the wild, get to learn about their behavior and about their lives and these very intelligent creatures is an extremely rewarding experience. It was the first trip of the season and when uh, Denise got in the water, we came upon a mother and brand new calf. The, without hesitating, the mother brought the calf right over to Denise and presented it to her, saying, look what I did while you were gone. And I thought, this is something I really want to become involved with. This is absolutely amazing. This unique trust and the longevity of the project allow access to a world that very few have had the opportunity to explore and study. 
In fact, the Wild Dolphin Project is the longest running underwater dolphin research project in the world. We have the opportunity to glimpse intimately and closely what they do together on a regular basis. When you jump into the water and you're involved with the dolphins, you see the care that they have for each other. When they come and look at you, you seem to be able to look into the, like the depth of their soul. Their eyes are magnificent and they seem to want to talk to you. They're as curious about you as we are about them. In the summer months, when the weather's best, we can get most of our good time with the dolphins. The rest of the year we spend in processing photos and processing video and analyzing the data, trying to make sense out of it, writing papers, giving lectures to the public as well as the scientific community, and writing grants and doing fundraisers to support the work for yet another field season. The Wild Dolphin Project educates the public by giving local, national, and international lectures to schools, clubs, organizations, and scientific venues. On occasion, the public is included in the field research. The Protect-A-Pod kit was created as a tool for teachers to educate students on the importance of the oceans, marine life, and specifically dolphins. I think dolphins especially are something very attractive to young kids and it can really teach them not only about the dolphins themselves and marine mammals but that in relation to other species in the ocean you can look at a dolphin as a top predator and know what's happening to the other animals and the oceans themselves it's real important for kids to to relate to something and dolphins are something they can definitely relate to because our field work occurs offshore it's very expensive. We run a boat, we want to run a professional crew. Uh, the costs are much different than land-based projects. This is actually one reason why not many people do long-term offshore work. It takes a large boat for us to be out there safely, and luckily we have a 60-foot boat and a great captain, and we can be out there safely. But between fuel costs and maintenance and keeping staff and crew healthy and up to par, it's, uh, it's a lot of energy. The vessel is one of the most vital parts of the mission. Accordingly, investments must be made as it is the bricks and mortar of the research. We try to keep the, the, the expense down by doing a lot of the work ourselves. The organization, it's, it's small enough to where our influence really can make a difference, but also the organization, Wild Dolphin Project, is big enough to where the science is credible. That's why you have people like the BBC doing film studies. That's why the Wild Dolphin Project gets grants from the Annenberg Foundation. Uh, the science is recognized by a lot of smart people out there as being credible science. Yet the project is small enough to where it's personal. You have a, a personal touch with uh, Dr. Denise Herzing and the staff. And so we feel that we, being a part of it, are a part of the success of this ongoing study. Dr. Herzig is a 2008 Guggenheim Fellow. She and the WDP team have been featured in many highly distinguished magazines, scientific journals, and television programs, including National Geographic, BBC, and Animal Planet. What is done in the Wild Dolphin Project will probably give back more to the world than we will ever, ever realize in our short lifetime. This cause is the road less traveled. The dolphins can't speak for themselves and they do need help. Denise will crack the code one day and it's exciting to be part of that history. It's exciting to be part of history in the making. I myself have been out on three different trips and they have been they have been life-changing, truly life-changing. The Wild Dolphin Project's vision for the next 20 years is to make the research vessel environmentally friendly, continue monitoring life cycles, expand non-invasive genetic research, and decode the dolphin's communication system 
ultimately cracking the code in two-way interspecies communication. Without the support of a lot of people, this work w just wouldn't be possible. You know, in the past, people have helped us with memberships, we have foundation support, corporation support, stock donations, technology donations, all that is really critical to the work and it'll be critical in the future. We need your support, we need your help, and this will hopefully allow us to continue for another 20 years. The Wild Dolphin Project has done such an amazing job with researching these animals over the last couple decades, and it would be a tremendous loss for the scientific community in the world if the study didn't continue. As a business owner, it's so important that part of your philanthropy goes to the environment. Obviously, being good stewards of the environment is so important not only for today, but for our children and our children's children. This problem's not going to go away. And the beautiful thing about long-term studies like the Wild Dolphin Project is we'll understand history, where we came from, and we'll be able to project where we're going. Therefore, we should be able to make a difference in altering our course in the future. Well, dolphins are indicators of the health of our ocean. They're considered sentinel species. They're the canaries of the sea. The fact is we know for sure that the health of the oceans is not very good. Now is the time we have a problem and we need to act. You know, and as humans, we can drag our feet a bit, we can pretend it's not a problem till the toxins are boiling up in our backyard. But the fact is we are all connected. It, it matters with our health, it matters with our water, our air, and it is an indicator now. It's not about the future. Theirs is a future that depends on you. Now is the time to act. By contributing to the Wild Dolphin Project, you become stewards of the environment and are investing in both the health of the dolphins and our planet. Please join us as we embark on this exciting expedition of discovery and cutting-edge science.